There have always been art thieves as long as there has been art. Occasionally, groups of thieves have been able to take large hauls of art worth hundreds of millions of dollars all at once, while at other times, criminals have focused on a single item. Some criminals succeed, but others are apprehended, and the artwork is sometimes damaged in the process. Today, we look at some of the most iconic works of art ever stolen, including paintings by Leonardo da Vinci, Rembrandt van Rijn, and Pablo Picasso, several of which were never recovered. Although many more pieces have been recovered as a result of the robberies, a substantial number of well-known and valuable paintings have still to be discovered. Here are 10 of the most well-known classics that have yet to be discovered. 10. The Concert by Johannes Vermeer In 1990, the concert by Johannes Vermeer was stolen from the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston. This painting is the most valuable stolen artwork in the world with an estimated value of over $200 million. It was stolen in the largest art theft ever. It was stolen along with 12 other masterpieces, by three men dressed as Boston police officers, apparently working as part of an East Coast crime ring. None of the works have been discovered, though their estimated value is $500 million. Vermeer's typical subject of a serene household setting is depicted in this painting, which shows his mastery of light and detail. 9. The Storm of the Sea of Galilee by Rembrandt van Rijn. The Storm on the Sea of Galilee, also taken during the Isabella Stewart Gardner theft, is Rembrandt's sole known painting of the sea from the mid-18th century. As described in the Gospels, the artwork depicts Jesus calming the roaring storm while crossing the Sea of Galilee with his followers. The Dutch Golden Age master emphasized the fury of the storm, the apostles' panic, and the relevance of Jesus' miracle by using chiaroscuro. Half of the painting shines as the waves mount in the moonlight, the other half is sunk in serene darkness. 8. Still Life with Candlestick by Fernand Ledger The heist of Paris Museum of Modern Art in May 2010 targeted this Fernand Ledger picture, which dates from 1922. Jerome Tomic, known as Spider-Man for his elusive thefts, was hired by antique dealer Jean-Michel Corvez to steal the ledger, but Tomic wound up snatching four additional paintings by Picasso, Modigliani, Matisse, and Brock. Tomic is said to have been paid $50,000 for the theft. Jonathan Byrne, a friend and fellow dealer, received the paintings from Corvez. Byrne claims to have panicked and destroyed the artworks, which are valued at over $120 million in total, the ledger alone is valued at $28 million, as soon as the police became aware of the case, but many believe they are still missing. 7. Le Pigeon au Petit Pois by Pablo Picasso Along with Ledger, another of Pablo Picasso's Cubist works, Le Pigeon au Petit Pois, was stolen from the Paris Museum in 2010. The painting is representative of the analytical Cubism movement, which blended painterly geometric patterns and a neutral color palette and was co-founded by Picasso and Georges Braque. The painting was taken from the city of Paris's Musée d'Armadaire. The burglar tossed it in a bin, which was emptied before authorities realized it contained the picture. Officials have given up hope of ever locating it, despite the fact that the painting would fetch more than $28 million at auction today. 6. Poppy Flowers by Vincent van Gogh Vincent van Gogh's poppy flowers was stolen from the Mohammed Mahmoud Khalil Museum in Cairo, Egypt in 2010 and has yet to be discovered. The painting, which is valued at $50 million, was completed in 1887, three years before Van Gogh's suicide. Poppy Flower's topic and color palette were claimed to be influenced by the work of French painter Adolphe Monticelli, who employed brilliant colors and dark backdrops to create dramatic, romantic settings. I sometimes think I am actually continuing that man, Van Gogh said of Monticelli, who died in 1886. 5. Nativity of St. Francis and St. Lawrence by Caravaggio in 1600, St. Francis of Assisi and St. Lawrence, a Roman deacon and martyr, was commissioned to paint this nativity scene by Caravaggio, a Baroque painter known for his dramatic chiaroscuro and realistic images. The oil painting hung over the altar in the oratory of St. Lawrence, a Baroque church in Palermo, Sicily, for over 350 years. In 1969, the cathedral was purportedly plundered by the Sicilian Mafia, who removed the Caravaggio and other expensive pieces. Four. Portrait of a Young Man by Raphael Raphael was one of the Renaissance's three most revered painters, together with Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo, and was recognized for his majestic and peaceful depictions of religious settings in the Vatican. Portrait of a Young Man, a self-portrait, is said to have been painted in 1513-14. to 14. 
Raphael's typical skills of proportion, subdued color, decorative embellishments, and idealized form are depicted in this painting. It is the most important painting still missing from World War II, having been seized by the Nazis from Poland. In 1798, a Polish prince purchased the picture and donated it to his family's museum in Krakow. It's thought to be valued at more than $100 million. 3. Just Judges of the Ghent Altarpiece by Jan and Hubert Van Eyck. The Ghent Altarpiece, regarded as one of the most important altarpieces in the world, was commissioned by the governor for the city St. Babo Cathedral in the early 15th century. The altarpiece was designed by Jan van Eyck, a renowned Flemish painter, and leader of the Northern Renaissance who painted at The Hague, together with his brother and colleague artist Hubert van Eyck. The top six panels portray Jesus Christ in the middle, the Virgin Mary, John the Baptist, and Adam and Eve, while the lower six panels depict the devotion of the Lamb, surrounded by apostles, prophets, saints, and warriors. In 1934, one of the lower left panels, just judges, which depicted a troop of approaching judges approaching the devotion, was removed from the altarpiece. Because the altarpiece had been seized and sent to Berlin during World War I but was returned to Ghent under the treaty's provisions in 1920, the burglar left a note that said, taken from Germany by the Treaty of Versailles. The Belgian government received ransom notes that they declined, and the panel is still missing, despite much speculation about the thief's identity and where it is. 2. View of auvers sur oise by Paul Cézanne a Mission Impossible style art robbery occurred at Oxford University's Art Museum at midnight on January 1, 2000, as fireworks exploded above Oxford, England, signifying the new millennium. The robber smashed the museum's skylight and repelled into the museum, stealing a valuable Paul Cézanne landscape, and setting off a smoke machine to mask the security cameras. Cézanne produced view of auvers sur oise in the early stages of his career, between 1879 and 1882, and it is a landscape of the countryside outside of Paris. The painting serves as a transitional piece between his early works and his transition to the brightly hued post-impressionist style for which he is known. It was given to the Oxford University Museum by a German refugee couple who fled to Oxford during World War II and is estimated to be worth around $5 million. 1. Charing Cross Bridge by Claude Monet The Charing Cross Bridge series was painted in London between 1899 and 1905 and is representative of Monet's dreamy impressionist style that emphasizes the interplay of light and color. Monet captures the smoky smog of London and combines the sky and water with a delicate gray, blue, and green color palette emphasized by the defined bridge. This painting, along with another Monet picture and five pieces by prominent artists such as Matisse, Gauguin, and Picasso, was stolen from the Kunstler Museum in the Netherlands in 2012. The criminals were apprehended, but the artworks were never discovered. One of the thieves' mothers said she burnt the paintings to clear her son of involvement, but she later denied it, even though officials discovered paint traces in her fireplace. The overall cost of the seven projects was anticipated to be $300 million. We hope you found this video entertaining. However, this isn't the last time artwork has been taken. These drawings were chosen for their distinct characteristics. Please share your thoughts and ideas in the comments section below, we would love to hear from you. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you again in the next video.